Hello everyone and welcome back to Food Review Club. We are in Belfast today and last time we came, everyone said we made a catastrophic error in not coming to Bunsen. Apparently the meat here at Bunsen Burger is exceptional. And we've been given the menu. Are you ready? There Hello. it is. <laughs> Business card menu. Business, if you can fit, if you can fit your menu on a business card, I think you're doing it right. I'm a big fan of this. Literally got four hamburgers, hamburger or a double, cheeseburger or a double, so two hamburgers and two sizes. Toppings, pickles, onion, lettuce, tomato, ketchup, mustard and mayo, fries, hand cut, hand cut, hand cut, shoestring and sweet potato drinks. Um, soda or milkshake, that's it. Finita. What uh, milkshakes do you need? Big shake, we have vanilla, strawberry and chocolates. Right. Should we order now? Yeah. You, you, you want for your pictures? Yeah, yeah. What do you want? Uh, I'll go with just a double piece. Cheeseburger? Double cheeseburger? Yeah, yeah. With everything inside? Yeah, as it comes. Yeah. Uh, any fries for you? Uh, no fries for you. No fries? How do you like the meat? Medium, medium well, well done? Um, I'll go medium well. Medium what would you recommend on the menu? So, uh, I love the double cheeseburger because it's big. Uh, you can get very full. And also medium because it's more tasty. So you can take the flavor, you know? I love the double cheeseburger. A double medium, cheeseburger? Medium, how, how you recommend? Medium. And the shoestring, the fact that this good. It's the best for me. Yeah, the shoestring. And, and the chocolate milkshake. The milkshake, you want everything inside? Uh, yeah. Fully in the double cheeseburger, fully. Yeah. Thank you. This is nice. Um, there's nothing worse, I don't know what you guys think at home now, there's nothing worse when you go somewhere they've got so many things on the menu. I really like that. And that they, also they know what they're prepping for, they know what they've got, they know what they're good at. We made the choice last time to go to Smash Bros over this. Which was very good. Which is very good. Um, but then everyone said that this is better. So we'll be the good comments that. were quite, quite like you went to the wrong place. Yeah, but maybe. A lot of them people this, just haven't been to Smash Bros. This is, exactly. This has been around for years, no doubt. That was a new business. I beg to differ. We, I think we did a great thing going to Smash Bros. Um, but this could be something very different today. Um, you said it looks great from the Instagram. It looks good. It's a the thicker food. patty. Is it fatter? It's not a Smash, smash patty. It's a thick, thick patty. Old school. This could be good, bro. Looks, looks, looks messy. It looks messy. Does it? Yeah. Cool. Yes. One last thing as well. Those that are new here. Thank you. Really appreciate your time. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Get in the comments. Give us some input. I mean, honestly, we greatly appreciate it. If you like your fatter patties, explain why. If you like smash burgers, start a debate. I'd love to hear it. Here we go. It looks big. Um, Skinny fries. First thing to note there, it came out rapid. That was quick, wasn't it? Very quick. Should we get it out of the get out of the coffin yeah. just so we can see exactly what we're working with? Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. It's, it's like a river in there, look. Look at this. It's maybe. It's just meant to be a messy one. I know it is, I know, I know, I know. It's just yeah, I'm allowed to have a, you know. I know, I know, it is but <laughs> I'm trying to be positive. Everyone's, me too. If I pull my chips on here, I feel like I soak up all that juice. They're good looking chips. Good looking chips. Let's start with the chips. Yeah, vinegar as well, come on. <coughs> See, for me, I could never put vinegar on chips like that. Why? It's just, they're fried. I just, a bit of salt, Fries, yeah, and that's it. That's, that's it. Yeah, maybe you're right, I just, I love vinegar. I know you do. Yeah, you? Vinegar makes food. That, um, you know, like your Henderson's relish, your Worc Worcestershire sauce, vinegar, that sort of sharp, acidic. Worcestershire. Oh. <laughs> Let me, can we put the clip over for the Italian man saying it now? One just star shine. What? Yeah, one just that shine. One just shishara. One just shushara. Like that. Easy for you to say. Let's go, Callum. 
These are very thin, lots of salt on them. Nicely tossed, just how we like it. Right, first thing to report, that's a magnificent chip. I knew it would be, you can just tell. It looks amazing. Bacon hot, delicately, like a delicate crunch. Seasoned to perfection. Really nice. See the salt on it, real good. That hot AF, mate. <laughs> right, got a milkshake as well. Chunky milkshake. Brilliant. Okay. So that's a milkshake that's drinkable. Doesn't feel thick. Feels more milky and chocolatey rather than ice cream. Like that chunky ice cream. Very, very nice. Also very chilled. It's perfect. Must be a Five Guys milkshake. Oh, really love good. Five Guys. That style, Callum. Yeah. Here we go then. So, a big burger. what I've heard is the meat here is the best meat in Belfast. Apparently these guys have a very unique uh, burger blend. And looking at it... That looks good, man. Looks like it's got an insane crust, but look, guys. Is it just me? Oh, look, I've got, we've got to be subjective here. This is like that bottom bun is soaked. Hey, sometimes a messy burger, messy bun. It's, it can be messy, bro. <laughs> look, it's this style of burger, right? Let's just go with it. The two of them allowed to just, honestly. Here we go. Cheers, everyone. Very salty. Oh, okay. Very salty. Big flavour. That's a really unique flavour to me. We have to have just a piece of the meat. Really good. Okay. Really, really good. Salad wise, I've got lettuce, onions, pickles, tomato, all the good stuff. I think you could have customised it, but I think you just said all of it. Yeah. But that bun gun is just useless. Breaking apart. Look at that. Okay. Very good. If you're going to have patties this juicy, get a bun that can, that can hack it. Like the bun. It's really nice. Soft. Just can't live up to the double the double patty. Maybe if I had a single, it'd be better. I don't know. One thing's for sure. Undeniably good flavors. Sam, what do you think? I think if I had a more stable bun, like yes, correct this. Well, the char's nice in the patty. Good flavor, mate. Are you in the same opinion with the bun? You want it to have a little bit more purchase? The bun's crucial. It's a crucial part of the burger. So I think if the, if the, beer, if the bun can't hold the burger, it's a bit disappointing. I think if you've only got two options, one being a single or a double, the bun should be able to hold both, in my opinion. Ooh. Here we go. That's a little insight from Savage Simon over there. Simon the Savage. Look, he doesn't mince his words, and nor should he. We are very lenient on this page, you know? Price point. 10 95 for a double cheeseburger. Which for a size like that, it's not, Ten, not bad. 10 95 4 85 for the milkshake. 3 25 for the chips. It's not a lot bad. of chips for 3 25 as well. Price point, not bad. Wow, that's really not actually that bad, is it? In total, you're talking about 18 quid. 
for a sit-in. Which then does put it up with five guys, kind of price, which people moan about, but I think that's an average price. So interestingly, look, it has got a, a big crust on it, but it's also got the depth. It's slightly pink on the inside. I feel like you're unsure about the meat. My first bite tasted very salty. Now on its own. <laughs> Callum, the meat is exceptional. Okay. It's exceptional. The Irish beef. Kicks hard. It feels like you're eating a steak. Okay. Very tender steak. The more I'm eating, the better it gets. It's better without that bun. Okay. I'd love to have seen a, this in a, in a bun with more structure. It just feels a little bit unthought about. They've got such a simple menu that I, would, I was hoping they could have dulled each aspect of this right up, like the chips, for example. They're like perfect. The milkshake, for a burger milkshake, is perfect. The meat, could I argue, is perfect. Mm -hmm. The bun is way off the mark. If this is the style they're going for, fair enough. It's just my opinion. Whether we've been to places that have big, juicy burgers, you know, Angry Moose, for example, that is a big, juicy patty, and they've got their customised buns that just stand up to it. And actually, the bun absorbs that juice and makes it even better, makes the whole experience. Yeah, you've got a bit of juice on you, but not like that. That was dripping. I don't know. Just my opinion. Maybe it's just a one-off one experience. I'm, one thing is for sure, though, I'm certainly nitpicking. I'm certainly nitpicking. And let's just dive in with the score. Let's, let's get on with it. Bunsen here in Belfast. Wow. Battle of the burger in Belfast. This is so close to being mind-bendingly good, but the burger, the bun for me just wrecked it. Does it get over a nine? No. Not today. Ooh. I'm going to give Bunsen a square of 10 today. This might upset a few people. I'm going to give it an 8.4. Ooh, OK. Dot a few points there for the bun. <coughs> I went 8.4. What do you think? Yeah, just a sense of Yeah, I'd go with that, I think. It's just the bun needs to tweak it. The beef itself is good. It's a very greasy burger, so it just needs something to hold it all together. Greasy, juicy. I feel like you can taste the high fat content, which is great. Yeah, yeah. Big, big flavour. Yeah. But if you're going to go down that route, have a bun that can hold it together. Look, we're nitpicking. Here's what it is. It's something like a side job, right? We're food reviewers. We see this stuff a lot. Right, so I sitting now, I honestly think that they could do better with the bun. The team, fantastic, super polite, loved it, haven't paid yet. Um, but yeah, 8.4. Okay. Thanks for joining us, people. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have enjoyed it, go and have a look elsewhere on the channel. We've, we've been to various different countries, tried lots of different food, um, and we always try and have a great time on camera for you guys. So, appreciate you being here. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the video far and wide. Big up Bunsen, thanks for having us. Apologies it wasn't the best news, but still largely positive. On that note, everyone, that's a review. See his big daddy B pubs and Matt on a mission. To find he's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen. Different places, different flavors, try different things. Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?